I've played nearly 20 hours of Black Ops 6 Zombies already and found quite a few things that I think everyone needs to know. Whether you've been playing for a while or haven't even picked up the game yet, some of these tips will make your experience so much more enjoyable. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it lets me know that you guys like these kind of videos. But without further ado, let's get right into it. If you've been playing Black Ops 6, you may have noticed your settings have been reset when you restart your game. And this is one of the most annoying features Treyarch has ever added. To fix this, go into your settings, then account and network. Here you'll find a setting called Clouded Settings. Settings. Make sure to turn this off. This is the very first thing you'll want to do before playing Black Ops 6. Otherwise, you'll be messing with your settings every time you load up the game. Something I found on my very first playthrough was a trick to skip certain animations, and this works on any animation in the map. I found this most useful for perk machines, but you can do this on literally anything. This will most likely get fixed within the coming updates as it's way too easy to perform, but just by dolphin diving into a perk machine while you buy it, this will cancel out the animation and you will not be slowed down. This is incredibly useful and like I said i do not see this staying in the game for long on both terminus and liberty falls you can find a pool table around the map this can also be found in some multiplayer maps but shooting this little easter egg will give you 100 points not much but something good to know to get you ready for your black ops 6 grind you'll need the best loadout and currently the marine sp is the best gun to start off with it's extremely strong without any attachments on its own but once you get this thing to max level you'll start unlocking some overpowered attachments like rapid fire this will make the gun way too overpowered and it kind of reminds me of the gallo situation we had in Cold War. In Black Ops 6, you have a mini map that you can use to your advantage. If you are new to the game, this is a great way to figure out where stuff is. I mean, the game literally tells you exactly where everything on the map is, and if your friends are having trouble finding things, you can ping this for them, and it will pop up on everyone's HUD. There's also a new feature when opening your mini map. Scrolling over a tab will allow you to see your weapon stats during the game, and this will update in real time. Any kills you get or bullets you shoot will update. One of the most useful things I'm about to tell you is on Liberty Falls. Every car on this map can be blown up this can happen from bullets zombies manglers abominations literally anything can blow up a vehicle and if you're not careful this will end your game as this does an extreme amount of damage now the worst part about this is the new save and quit feature if you blow up these cars then save and quit then reload back into the game all of these cars will reset and this will really catch you off guard i've personally lost a couple games to this so don't make the same mistake as me speaking of the save and quit feature you actually have a time limit on how long your game can be paused and this only lasts 15 minutes now you may wonder what happens after the time is up well your game will automatically unpause and assuming you are afk in the first place you'll just end up back in the lobby now there is currently a way around this simply save and quit then load back in this will reset the timer back to 15 minutes but at that point you may as well just save and quit and play when you're ready are you familiar with the term esp more known as wall hacks something we've all experienced in gaming is hackers and funny enough Cherik added a new feature to the hud system this will allow you to customize the color of the zombies and if you ask me this literally looks like you are playing with wall hacks now now, obviously you can't see the zombies through the wall but this is an amazing feature that i think is very useful even though it's not very pleasing to look at to mess with this setting you'll need to enter the hud settings and go to readability here you'll find the high contrast mode turn this on and this will highlight all zombies now this gets even more crazy as you can literally customize this however you want if you want zombies to be blue you can make them blue if you want purple zombies and you can do that too you can also just make it an outline and i personally just think this is an absolutely amazing feature on liberty falls just in the spawn room if you head up the stairs of the motel then turn left you can find a room that eight zombies will jump out of this is a great way to get points at the start of the game and the jet gun buildable is also in this room you can find some intel on the back of this table now for people that haven't played black ops 6 yet Treyarch changed up the melee system in this game instead of having a knife as a primary weapon it's now its own weapon class and this does not take up an additional weapon slot to use this just hold down the melee button and whatever melee you're running will become equipped when playing terminus there's a bunch of weapons you can get for absolutely free i mean as soon Soon as you spawn in you can get the xm4 from this soldier there's about five different spawns for these guys and you need to be relatively quick to get to them otherwise the zombies will kill them and their weapon will disappear from what i've seen the two weapons you can get are the jackal pdw and the xm4 each with their own attachments the gobblegum machine in black ops 6 works a bit differently than it did in black ops 3 it can be spun once around for free although after the initial hit there is a 300 second cooldown until you can use it again this can be avoided by entering the next round at which the timer will just end up disappearing appearing another new feature to black ops 6 is being able to go into third person anytime you want you've probably seen that you can switch in the pause menu but if you're playing on controller just holding down the d-pad will swap you into first and third person now personally i'm not a big fan of third person so i'll probably never use this but if you just want to look around and have a better view of the area this could be pretty useful on liberty falls there's a random chance a zombie can spawn in the back of any vehicle this isn't too rare but if there is a zombie in the car they cannot break out and if you do not kill them they will just die on their own 
This is pretty useless, but I thought it was kind of cool. Black Ops 6 is by far the most customizable zombies game we've seen yet. The endless amount of customization you can do on this game is incredible. And I don't mean skins, attachments, operators, or anything of that nature. Entering your settings and going down to interface, you can mess around with your gameplay HUD. Now, I don't know about you, but this is something we've needed for a long time, and the HUD you choose really comes down to your personal preference. And if you really want to, you could just disable the HUD entirely. Now, personally, I think Classic is the best as it gives the OG zombies feeling. But this goes even deeper, as by going to the next tab, you can literally change anything you want about the HUD. Liberty Falls is a smaller map, and with that being said, there's a few spots that are better than others, whether you want to train or even camp. The first spot is exactly where you spawn. Having a kitted out gun or a ray gun will allow you to sit here for a pretty long time. Just make sure to head on top of the bank and buy the zipline door, that way if you get overrun, you have an instant escape. The most popular spot currently is in the bowling alley. Players have been using the spot because of the amount of space it has. This isn't really a camping spot, more so of a training spot and probably the best one on the map since there are no cars nearby. And for the high round strategy on this map, you'll want to buy your way to pack a punch then head into the bowling alley. Just outside of here, you can camp right here. Just make sure you keep this door closed, otherwise this will ruin the strategy. The spawns in this spot are extremely fast and there's also a crafting table right next to you. Now, I would not recommend this spot unless you have a ray gun. One of the weirdest settings, if not the weirdest we have ever seen in COD history was added into Black Ops 6. This setting is called arachnophobia and if you have a fear of spiders, this setting is for you. This will turn all vermin on the map into just a floating head and it's kind of creepy. I would honestly say that this is creepier than the spiders. This setting doesn't have any gameplay effect to my knowledge as the hitboxes seem to stay the same. However, it's just invisible and these guys are honestly kind of hard to see when mixed in with zombies. Black Ops 6 added the new addition of vault keys which are dropped by bosses around the map. These keys can come in any rarity and will give you the loot in the matching loot pool. To actually use these keys, you'll need to do a quick easter egg on the map for Liberty Falls. You'll need a code and to find this code, you'll need to look for three pieces of paper with numbers on them. The first one can be found in the bowling alley just under these cans. The second one can be found in the comic book store just behind the counter. And the final one is in the bank itself just under this hat on the table. Each piece of paper has four dashes and two numbers. To know the order of this code, you'll need to pay attention to where the numbers are on each piece of paper. So if it's at the end, it will be the last two numbers. Typing in this code will unlock you the vault and in here you can use all of your keys. There's also 500 points and free intel. Now you will be kicked out after 30 seconds and no zombies will bother you while you are in here. Now for the very last thing in this entire video, which is also the most useless fact here, is that if you swap your weapons into your fist, then aim down, this will allow you to melee with your weapon by aiming in. This is a really weird bug and it's completely useless. It will not do anything. It has no effect on anything and I guarantee no one watching this knew about this. If you want more videos like this, let me know down in the comments below as I plan to make more Black Ops 6 content in the next coming weeks and if you know any tricks I should include in my next video, drop them down in the comments below.